it is completely normal that when talking about Godot 4, basically what would be Godot copies, okay, basically just handled by different people, that I get asked, okay, which is the actual difference between any of these forks, which uh, the main one uh, is Red Dot, okay, and the actual version of Godot, okay, Godot Engine. So in this video, updated to, to March 2025, uh, I want to address this question. So first of all, starting in Godot, okay, as you probably already know, Godot 4.4 was released just a couple of uh, days ago. And well, Godot 4.4 actually um, mostly focused on creating a better overall user experience, okay? Um, so it did include super interesting things such as Jolt as part of the default, or not as a part of the default physics engine, but as a default option that you can select over there. You also have this new embedded game window. So there is a lot of things here new, okay? As long as it's, it's a pretty long post, okay? That we have already discussed in the channel. And you can also see that it's all the time being updated, okay? There is all the time new things, okay, to check out. And if we compare this to any fork, okay, the fork that is, I believe, the most updated because it, it's the main one right now, the one that has the most contributors, I, I would say, okay, I don't really know the numbers, to be honest. Uh, but, well, the main one is basically Red Dot. And uh, even though, well, their website is pretty, it's, it's pretty, okay, um, and, well, they do have here some stuff, okay, and, and whatever, uh, once we go to the latest blog post okay which would be the equivalent to the latest news okay uh where we can see that mostly every i know three four five seven days at most we have some information here here we have just a total of three posts okay or i don't know if there is more, there are more well yes there are a little bit more i believe um but well you can't compare the number of posts. The latest post, at least here, is in 3 February, so mostly one month ago. Uh, then we have here, well, 3 February, this is the same one, then 10 January, so we have, let's say, one post monthly. Um, of course, well, maybe here in November, where they were kind of trying to release the version, there were more posts, but well, right now we are only having one post monthly. And I'm telling you this, because it is... A, an engine okay that is only maybe updated or we have some information about it just every one month whereas in Godot we all the time have a, a new stuff of course we can't compare the the amount of money that that Godot has um here in their donations page okay we can't compare it uh at all the, the number of members that they have over here sponsors etc and developers behind of course Redos has many um, many fewer uh, contributors much less money etc so that's why of course they are unable to provide such constant updates but anyway we we are here um, talking about what we have in the engine and not what is kind of in the back end of 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 their own on their back end of of their development okay um so that's why they are kind of let's say stuck on on older versions or in versions that don't really provide different uh, different stuff at least from for for the general user and that, that is a term that i have repeated a lot in the last videos because there is always some time okay that maybe you go here and i don't mention some stuff over here i don't know um let's go here more, more to the bottom where there, there are more let's say complicated stuff i don't know here shadow mask for light my gi well Maybe there is people that don't know about this. This is maybe not something for the general Godot user or for the beginner general user. This is something for may, maybe for more for the intermediate developer or advanced developer. And that's not something bad, by the way. It is just something not maybe a life changer for the general Godot user or for the vast majority of developers. What is for the general Godot users, for the vast majority of users, for example, for me, for you to understand this point is, okay, the window management logic, for example, even Jolt would be considered like this, um, etc. So I, I believe that now you understand where I'm going with this. Of course, Red Dot does have some stuff, okay, uh, that is kind of different, because here it does have some stuff, but if you a kind of read this you will see that either they are super small stuff that is new or stuff that is not relevant for the general godot user itself 
or they are basically so small that they are not kind of relevant or a reason why to change from goaded to red dot. Um, for example, I don't know, scaling multiple nodes at once. I don't know how many times in reality you would actually take advantage of this. I am not saying this is something completely useless and it's not worth adding to the main engine to go dot, but it's something that is not going to make people completely switch from one to the other. I want to say this is not hating directly on Reddit or in any fork, it's just comparing the facts, okay? Uh, because it's obvious, as I mentioned, Reddit has much less money, fewer developers, etc. So it's most impossible for them to keep up um, on, on what Go that is doing. You, you understand that point. Uh, and by the way, it's quite impressive the work that they have done lately because they have their own work, they, their own web page. It, it works amazingly. It is pretty aesthetic. They have been able to release at least their their own versions with their own stuff. So they have done a lot for just being a project that has existed for a couple of months and that has been everything done by people that have not been paid or if they are being paid right now it is not kind of like a lot of money or i don't know if they are being paid at, at right now um so it's a pretty interesting like thing that has happened okay but of course it is super far away from what godot is uh because godot has been existing for decades okay i don't know if decades exactly um but yes for for lots of years and really has just existed for a few months so well once again just differences in terms of the facts um, in every single engine. So right now, what I want to do is to download the latest go uh, Red Dot version. So let me just go over here to the download. So I will press download now. Once again, it's amazing here the the um, the, the the different um, like uh, sections of the web page. This this stuff that is not even available in the Go Dot website. I I really like this stuff. Okay, uh, but once again, it is not things that will actually make people go from one engine to the other, or at least the general user, okay? Besides the controversy of the Twitter drama and all that, I'm talking about the, the engine features itself. So let's basically open this up, and I want to show you, this is the latest stable version, which is 4.3, and Godot is in 4.4, so all these features over here, I believe, as far as I understand, that we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have any. So let me go here to Redot, that it should be right over here. So let me create something here in the downloads. So basically the main difference here uh, is the, the colors, okay? So the, the theme, it does look quite good, but once again, this, uh, this is just branding, let's say. But as you can see, we have no game tab. If we go to a project settings and in the 3D physics, here we shouldn't be having... Oh, here this is not here. Uh... 3D physics over there. I forgot to turn on advanced settings. So here on physics engine, as you can see, we don't have Jolt over here to select. Uh, so once again, right now, if you were to create a game over here in Red Dot in the latest stable version, it will be mostly the exact same thing as using Godot 4.3. But in reality, if you ch chose to use Red Dot, you would be losing access to all these features that Godot 4.4 provides. So well. That's basically what you are getting. You are getting fewer features than what Godot uh, currently has. But the main thing, and that's the main reason I believe why people are using Red Dot, is because it's managed by other people, by other community, completely separate from Godot. Um, so that's the main point. People are main, mainly choosing Red Dot just because it's a different community, a different team, so a different engine managed by different people. Um, and not maybe because it has more future features or better stuff in general, because it has even fewer stuff than what Godot offers um, right now. So if you don't really care about the controversy that happened between Red Dot and Godot, that I've already discussed a lot of time in the channel, so that's why I'm not going over it over again, uh, you can just be okay with Godot and you will even have access to the latest uh, versions. So that's basically all I wanted to explain. Right now there is like an actual difference between the two that is huge. That is That one is in 4.3 and the other one is in 4.4. So that's a huge difference. And probably the gap between the two are going to be getting bigger and bigger as time goes by. So once that has been explained, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Bye bye.